What's up? Today's lesson is on fractions in standard form. Fractions are used to represent a part of a whole. A fraction looks like this. The top number of the fraction is called the numerator. This number represents a part of the whole being represented. The denominator is the bottom number and represents the number of equal parts it takes to make the whole. I would like to show you some fraction words that may be helpful along the way. The whole is the part of the fraction being broken into parts. If the whole is broken into two equal parts it is called halves. When broken into three parts it is called thirds. Four equal parts are called fourths. Five equal parts are called fifths. Six equal parts are called sixths. When the whole is broken into eight equal parts it is called eighths. 10 equal parts are called tenths, and finally, 12 equal parts are called twelfths. These terms are used to describe the denominators of a fraction. When writing fractions in standard form, we write the numerator over the denominator with numbers. The numerator in this fraction represents the pieces of pizza shown. There are two slices. The numerator is two. We write the number two. Now, we write the denominator. The denominator is the number of pieces of the whole. There are one, two, three. I put a three at the bottom of the fraction. It is red, two thirds. Sometimes fractions represent more than one. In this example, we see one whole and another part of a whole. I start with the numerator. The numerator is the number of blue parts. There are 11. I write the number 11 on top of the fraction. Now to find the denominator, go back to the whole. Count how many pieces it takes to make the whole. This is the denominator. It takes six parts to make a whole. I write a six on the bottom of the fraction. This fraction is read as 11 sixths. But wait, there is another way to write this fraction. There is one hole filled in, so we write the number one and the, and there is a fraction of a hole filled in. There are five six shaded in. I write the number 5 over the number 6. The fraction is red 1 and 5 6. Fractions can also be represented on number lines. On this number line, I am looking to find the location of the drink. Starting with the numerator count how many spaces the drink is from 0. There are 5. The numerator is 5. Now to find the denominator. This is the number of equal parts it takes to make the whole. There are eight total parts. The denominator is eight. The drink is located at five eighths. This may be cheesy, but I am sure glad you stopped by to learn more about fractions. Catch you later.